right, no man's high. I can't get the other camera to work right now. I don't understand why I can't get the other camera to work. Let me get the uh, the microphone up a little bit better so you can at least hear me properly. My face doesn't really matter, really. We could just turn that off. But I'll tell you what. People like it, I guess. It makes it more intimate, I guess. And you guys want to be real intimate with me, I, I know. So, well, I tell you what. We are rocking around the Christmas tree. I hope you get some nip nip. Walk me with me through this cave and we're gonna take a trip. Rocking around this Christmas tree. I think somebody's been hitting the nip nip a little bit too much this morning. Hey, we got this crazy fo frozen tundra here with all this green and frozen stuff. So I was like, man, you know what? I think this would be kind of cool to throw down the uh, the old Christmas tree. Where, is it? Where the hell is that thing at? Oh, look at the spirals going up the middle of it. It's just disappeared. It is so wonkered out. Look at all this garbage up there. Okay, let's get back over there. All right, I was going to make a dramatic entrance, but that is not going to happen because, well... We've got the game super maxed out, and then it's in 4K, and we got Norm Denise all hanging out over here, just teasing everyone. Let's see if we can get a nice little photo here for the uh, for the folks back home. They're never gonna believe this. All right, here we go. Let's uh, Norm do this. This is my Christmas card for the folks back home. I mean, we we visited the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the country's world oh, you know if you ever driven across country uh, in america anyway you know that almost every stater has a the 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 world's largest something i don't know twine ball or uh i don't know i've seen them all man i've been across country uh here quite a few times and it's just uh funny i think to me so yeah we got the world's largest christmas tree and the postcard it's in the it's in his adora jung Must be the sign-in station over here, huh? All right, how do you get in this place? I see some golden, some golden diplos down there. Must be my my signal. It's almost like I know the guy who built this. Real punk. Guy's not cool at all. Mean, super mean. Sky Masters or whatever the hell his name is. I don't know. Some nerd. All right. I want to just say, this is an old build. So, I mean, it's as amazing as it is. It's definitely, you're going to look at it now and go, hold up, man. Aren't you better than this? No. No, but it's a really good. I can do it a lot better. For sure. And it was decorated by uh, Utec, but... I think this is not the decorated version. I had it slimmed down so I could probably add the uh, stuff upstairs. But as you've seen from the outside, my Fibonacci spiral staircase that goes inwards. You can definitely see where that was inspired now. From some of that math XYZ geometry. It could be done a lot better with different pieces. This is pretty lazy. I'm gonna sad. Yeah, we got some of those modded lights beaming out outside. We can kind of see them focusing in on us right here right now. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a look at that over there. Cool, just the light beams going through everything. I like that they do that. So you can work to that to your advantage. This needs to be redone. Look at the garbage. It is straight up garbage. I'm highlighting my own garbage build right now. It's pretty still, it's still amazing. I just think it's lazy garbage and in, in my uh on my standards here. It's old. 
It was for a competition, and we rushed it out. And I had UTEC come in here, and, and uh, he decorated the inside. Which really helped out on the tour, because if, if the tour would have looked like this, which is kind of boring. It's like, oh, a spiral staircase? Oh, okay. Big star and all this crazy stuff. The outside, well, it's still nice, but the run-up is kind of boring. Hey, let me mind you. This is uh, the uh, this is before the teleporters came in. I mean, we were begging for teleporters forever, so... One of the biggest pivotal points of the game. Because then we ended up with stairs like this. And uh, what the hell is going on here? All right. I tell you what, speaking of nip nip, man, look at those damn nip nip trees out there. Absolutely beautiful. It's so green. It needs a lot of red. So let's try and throw some red in there. All right, what the hell do we have up there? How do we get up there? We got a lot of stuff going on up here. All right, so this is Bizarro's. This is Bizarro's capital build. We'll have to get into it. Uh, it's up. This piece right there is anyway. The Christmas tree is obviously mine because it's disordered, chaotic build is my specialty. So yeah. Yeah, that needs to go. That's probably hurting the build right there. But that's a cool entrance. I think that's a, a dope-ass photo. Let's go ahead and pull this back out. Now, that's a really... Uh, that'll be the cinematic reveal shot right here for the video. Now, just absolutely wicked. Let's walk in here and look at this thing. Now, as soon as I step onto this platform right here... This is not my build. This is Bizarro's. Absolutely fantastic. Let's, uh, we gotta get a shot of that right there. Actually get it some justice here on this piece. Just drop the sun down. Let's center that up a little bit. Gosh, I mean, with the wall being there, am I going to even be able to kick it back a little bit? All right, there you go. And that is the shot if you ever seen the shot i guess i mean does it get any better with contrast of any sort of other sorts as dark as you can guess so now i bet you it probably would look a lot better if we turn the light switch off and make it red right isn't that what happens let's get a shot of that here real quick here Chink. what is it there it is. Chink. He's looking for my chink. All right. Pretty neat, huh? That's pretty cool. I think so. We learned a lot from this. I won't get into explaining exactly. Well, I mean, she's really good with placing things, but I, I would say that this was, I don't know, really good at, uh, uh, I don't know if it's an import or they just really just replaced the, the points on the, the other model that they had built, which was, uh, it's a possibility that it's hand built. I mean, it's not super complicated or anything, but it, it's precise and it definitely took some knowledge and some skills for, sh for sure. And, and it's just wicked to look at, man. Right? It's 
stunning and beautiful. Now, I don't know what happened to Bizarro. They seem to just kind of, well, I mean, I fell off too, and I've changed my name, and I get it. So, I was going to say, I don't know what happened to them or why, but I know why. Let's take a flight out here. Christmas tree, star, bizarro, build, crazy tour. 4K. Can't hit that 60 because my machine ain't built for 4K at 60. But, you know, it's not a really competitive game, so I think it's just fine. And a lot of my shots, I want to slow down anyway. And I feel like this is almost like, like it's almost like forces you to do like camera stabilization yourself as I'm playing. I mean, I'm more conscious of it. It's a little bit. I damn sure wouldn't complain until I was uh, gaming about trying to shoot somebody. But gorgeous, you know. Just playing around with some build stuff. I don't even know where my count is at. It's got to be up there because the game is definitely struggling. We're super modded too as well, so... I mean, let's just slam everything at this thing and put it in 4K, right? On a machine that's not really supposed to do this at 4K? I don't think so. I don't know. This handle is pretty fine. I think it's a beast. But I optimize my, sim my system fairly well. And I think that's a key element. Alright. These guys are sexy over here. Let's get another picture. On this one that I was at, I'm on the very tip. Let's play just the tip over here, real quick. You get one more photo to end the uh, the whole shoot here. Oh, there we go. And I knew that was gonna happen. That's really cool that that's there. All right. Okay. So I was right. There's a mod for ships, and it has a summoner and a ship file. And for some reason, I thought the both files needed to be in there, but you just need the ship summoner, it looks like. So, a little key for anybody that's uh, using the mod stack out there uh, with the ship summoners. Ship summoners. Alright, let's we'll do some flies, flybys here. Let's get the tree out of the way. Who cares about the tree? I mean, the Normandy would just make like a, a nice regular ship. Let's make it down. Let's shrink that guy down and drive it around. All right, all right. So since we got these ships going, let's go take a look at them real quick. This video will be all over the place. Like, it's way too much stuff crammed into one video, man. It's like three different builds and a whole bunch of ships and 11 different mods with 33 different special ships. It's too much for us, man. You're going to blow our heads off. We got to thumbs down this video, man. This is uh, blasphemy. All right, let's go back into my menu here. So we got the Golden Vector. It's always number one. Uh, the Thai Silencer. Serenity, Batwing, Police, Razor Crest, Gaseous. Uh, that's a uh, part of the. That's a uh, recycled, <clears throat> recycled graphics from the game. A lot of it is. Uh, the modders seem to use that. It'd be easy that, you, and the game already has it.
Corrupted Drones, Droid TIE Fighter, Droid TIE Fighter, okay, Jedi Starfighter, what's that look like, okay, where do I, he's just throwing his hands up, but I can't, I was wondering why they wasn't popping up. Milano. All right, well, that's working. All right, well, there must be some, uh, because of the, the menus or something, probably something with the, the parts mod. Because it goes in the same folder, and I would imagine that there's some kind of mix-up going on. And if we want to see them, then we ha want it's one or the other on that. I would imagine I, I can probably, you know, take those off and on and confirm that here. All right, now that I've gone off on that own little tangent, we're not gonna look at ships because I'm not understanding what's going on there. But I would imagine it has something to do with conflicts in the mods. So it's a game of uh, take off and put back on and see what uh, happens there. Look at the uh, the spiral staircase going up. <laughs> Incoming storm. Time, time to get out of there. Hey, we're going to go uh, check out some worlds. Let's go check out some worlds. Get a few in there. I wish I had the uh, the boat. I, I don't think I have boaties. Oh, no. No. Water lock. Check that out. It's close. Yeah, and if uh, just for those wondering, uh, this is they're mostly mods by Woody Montana and then Brit Free. So, if you're interested and you're on PC and you're ready to take the game to a whole new level, I suggest going over to the Nexus Mod site and checking out those two guys. Well, if you've never modded before, I'd go get Red Mosses all in one first. Get your feet wet first. See if we can find some uh, land down here. Couldn't see a damn thing from out there. What's that underneath there? That's kind of weird. I see something off over here. It's weird. Flutter in the graphics. Just me. Let's pop up. Not too high. Hmm. Hey, and Astra, a uh, shooting start uh, show out, out over the water might look good. Not gonna happen. That was it. It's baloney. All right, guys. Man, I just don't see anything out there, man. You guys see anything out there? There's no hope for anything. Nothing out on either side. Yes, I like to hang upside down like a bat and check everything out. It just seems to be better for me. I did say water locks, or whatever it was. But there's something down there. We're going to land. And we're going to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. 
like a personal goal of mine. That's what this whole video is going to be about. What the heck is on this water world here? Let's, can we find some land? All right, let's 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 stop joking around. And let's find a piece of land down there. That looks like scattered lands, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I can see the shiny bits. Uh, so we don't want it quite there. We want deep water. I want a piece that's almost on the edge of there. That looks good to me right there. Yeah, I think one of these parts look good to me. Maybe that guy... Is that land way out there? It is land out there. Let's take this last little piece over here. I'm sure there's... I'm trying to just get a, a, on a good area where it's going to be nothing but water for a while. Turn the other camera on too. That side view it shows my biscuit neck. I look like I look like a giraffe with a biscuit neck. Oh, Rolly! Look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Weather is corrupted blood. Mmm. Sounds yummy. Man, these worlds just get crazy, man, with these mods. Absolutely bonkers. Where's our uh, land lovey of the land lovers at? Check. Oh, we got to get a little sunrise here, too. You know. Oh, no. There we go. I like to see the uh, the color change. Let's see what we get there. Barren. looking I don't like the, I, I don't like the blood red water it's like my least favorite color for water I don't know there's just something about it I guess my hopes is that there's gonna be some like wicked deep you better back on up man I don't know who this foolio thinks he is it actually kind of scared me I'm not gonna lie I was like what the hell is going on man I didn't I didn't trigger anything did I I was so scared. All right, so what I'm hoping for is some deep, deep, deep. We're going deep, deep. That's what I want. Now, I think I've seen, like, with the mod was, like, 200 and something. So I have no how far we can get, but I mean we're at a, a place called Waterlocked or whatever whatever the hell it was called. So I, I felt like I had high hopes, and it turned my whole video into something else. We can try it out, guys, and see where we go. Hey, it's one one fourteen. I mean, you're already impressed. That's open water. I guess mods don't, don't count. Let me tell you something about mods, man. Mods for this game kind of take the regular game and just change the mathematics of it. All the same art. A little bit different than just we added some different graphics or whatever, you know. It's 
big. I mean, these aren't small, and we're deep. Deeper than anything you're going to get in the game. Vanilla. One forty. One forty four. Yeah, I think it was two oh eight or two sixteen or something like that. I got a video. Deep, deep dive. Gorgeous. I just wish I wish it wasn't red. But with the big red nodule, glowy things, it's kind of working. I mean, if it's going to be red, be red. And coming from the green Christmas present, uh, present Christmas tree present <laughs> place, whatever, the, the Christmas tree. Oh, look at that. that. That's stunning coming out into this. How deep are we? Still fairly deep, man. It's going to be 100 plus. So I'll just end the video. And that'll be it anyway. I'm trying to keep them shorter so the uh, there's no uh, ads in the middle of them. I think it's got to be under eight minutes, I do believe. YouTube's auto pre-roll is already bad enough. I'm going to try to keep it to a minimal for you guys. If I can... I have no timer down there either, so I have no idea where the where the video is at in length. Well, I tell you, we're going to come over this next hill here, and we're going to see where we get at for depth. And if it's nothing really crazy significant uh, past. Uh, been already, then we will call it a day on this long adventure that we've been on. I want it to be epic. I, I want to come over the hill into some crazy valley looking thing and I want it to look epic. this. Now give me a huge mountain in the distance that kind of slowly comes in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Give it to me. <laughs> give it to me, baby. Open water. All right, let's go. Let's get deep. Let's go deep. And boldly go where no gek has gone before. I keep seeing like almost a train. I think it's just the light shadow. I, th I keep on thinking it's like a big old mountain about to come in. All right, we're at a hundred plus now. I feel a little bit better. It's going down too, but you get that weird uh, kind of a illusion that you keep going down. And sometimes the numbers will actually go up. There was a spot in Oregon on top of the uh, mountain that had this stream and like it forced the perspective to see the stream going uphill, sort of. People would argue. I thought it was cool. Well, 119. I mean, I've got bragging rights, but I mean... We're not calling up Guinness Book of World Records or anything. That was loud in my ear. I'm glad it didn't go off on my ear. Gotta be bleeding. Alright, one more little 
down spot here. We'll see where it takes us. We're at 120. I see it drop off right over here, but I think it might be a fool's gold. No, maybe not. That's a significant difference. Here we go. We hit the uh, the 150s. We might even see some bigger numbers coming up here. Caves don't count. Caves do not count. Even in the modded, I mean, I guess, I, well, we're modded. I guess it doesn't count. But I, I try to keep it open water. But there is a cave right there at 158. We're a little bit deeper than that. We could say, we could say it's 166. I mean, we're going to go up and over. Let's go to this little cut right here. See if this pays off. One sixty six is still the record on this planet. Gorgeous shot though there. I mean, that's just epic. Sitting down here this deep with this mountainous terrain all around you. It's just awesome. A lot of the complaints are that, you know, is that the water just don't get deep. And when it's down like this, it's super wicked crazy. I mean, I don't know. You could do some stuff with uh, some water worlds, I think. and we're coming up over on a big hole up here. Could be fool's gold though. I fall into the fool's gold trap all the time. That's a big old drop off there, folks. That's a huge drop off. All right, we're in the 170s, but that's kind of a cave though. I mean, that's cheesy to say. And we were definitely past 166, but that 170 mark, I don't know if I'm going to hold that. Folks, I think, uh, you know, it's a possibility that it might be here, but I usually, you know, if it's going to be super, super deep, I kind of hit that spot a little more quicker, more often. Am I back out in that same area? I just turn around, or is this a new area like that? Oh, it's a new area, huh? Corner pocket. was a hole there for a minute. Yeah, it's not even past 166 there. But you got a fool's gold drop off right up here. That's a big drop off, man. For already being at 166 or 150. Alright. So we'll probably hold 170 down here, I think. Alright, 174.5. Yeah. I feel better. I feel better. <clears throat> this is where I start going. Okay, that's impressive. You know, 175 is uh, impressive. Doesn't beat the record. But it's a good try. All right, I think that's it, man. That was fun. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, 
We'll see you later, HPs. Call your mom. Tell somebody you love them.